My second script is a script called InstaNote. Um, what this allows me to do is to type on my screen, put it off to the side, and if I want to, I can zoom in. Let's say I'm recording something and I want somebody to be able to see it a little bit easier. I can zoom in, zoom out. When I'm done with it, I can just right click on it and it's destroyed. I can create as many copies as I want. And what I can do is, let's, if I want to, let's say, um, I don't know if you're going to get what I mean, but let's say you want to play hot potato with your clipboard. I can put up two things up here, <clears throat> and if I shift click on it, that'll put it into my clipboard. And now it's, uh, if you know what, you, if, you, if you've ever, ha ever had to play hot potato with your clipboard, um, that's, you know that that's pretty useful being able to do that. Um, so there's that. What I can also do is, this is an experimental version, by the way, the one that I'm demonstrating is an experimental version. There is an earlier version that doesn't have a bunch of the features, and I'll leave a link to it. Um, I'll also, if you want a copy of my experimental version, uh, I'll, I have no problem with giving you a copy of it, but you should know how to code, or at least be able to read code in order to... Um, if you want to use it because it's got it's it's my it's my this is my test bed and you're not necessarily going to want to have everything that I have and you're going to want to edit a few things out etc etc so like I said okay so I can type something I can take the contents I can put this into my clipboard and paste that um, I can switch between them by shift clicking on them I can right click on them to destroy them I can move them around I can zoom them Let's say I don't want to have it on the screen, but I want to have it saved. I can also do, uh, let's say that I use, let's say this is somebody's name and I want to have this or whatever. I can control click on this and add it over into a list over here. And now whenever I want that in my clipboard, I can do that. The other thing I can do with that is if I start typing out let me see what the name was. Uh, value. So if I start typing out, uh, let's say, my list, any anything that's in this that has the character M in it is going to show up here. Um, I can refine it a little bit more. My. So now I only have one value. I can select that. And that automatically puts it into my clipboard. <clears throat> so let's say if I, let's say I have this in my clipboard right now. But I want, I want that my value thing. Oops, my my. Now that's in my clipboard. Um, when I'm done with it, I can just control click on this, and it gets rid of it. This can handle multi-line things, but the the way that it, I have it set up, when you run the script again, multi-line breaks it. So, for example, if I wanted. If I wanted, I could copy all of this stuff and push all of this stuff over into here, like so. Control click on it. And let me change my clipboard. So that's on my clipboard. Now if I click on this, it gives me all of that, all of that stuff. The problem is that the next time I run the script, it's only going to remember the first line of it. Um, the script's basically going to be broken. So because just because of this. up here like I said work in progress um, so that's from the multi-line stuff now the second thing that I can do with this oh yes well one other thing uh, there's so many things with this thing <laughs> I'm trying to keep up um, if I wanted to let's say let's say I have notepad and I want to put a note with notepad right if I switch away from notepad it's still going to be there but if I use a different hotkey I can create a note that's going to be set this notepad window as its parent. So now if I switch, it's gone. Um, and I can, you see it gets disappears. And when I'm done with this note, I can right click it and it's gone. Okay, so that's that. Um, one of the other experimental things that I've added into it is the ability to change this on the fly. So before I go into that, Let's go into the other the, the other main feature. The other main feature is I can use this as a command prompt or a way of executing code. Uh, so I press another hotkey, I get this other note, and if I start typing in one of the things that I have in it, 
So if I anything that has a letter I in it will show up in this list, and of course I can refine it. So let me give you a, a practical example of something that I use it for all the time. So I have a class that I want to be able to get access to its different methods quickly, so I have them all written into this thing here. So if I type out pop and then right click on this, it executes code that just dumped something into my clipboard. So if I paste my clipboard, I now have a list of all the different methods that I can use for this class. And if I do, let's say, pop and new, which is one of the methods, and right click on that, it will put into my clipboard a call to that method or an example of that method call. Um, what I can also do is if, if I paste that, you can see how it has this GUI one. Well, this in this particular case, in this particular case, um, I can also add in um, some other parameters. So if I do pop and then new, and then let's say I want it to call my window Bob. Now, if I right click, instead of it saying instead of it saying GUI one, it's going to say Bob. And the, now that I've added Bob into it. If I do something else, let's say paint, which is right here. If I do paint, I don't need to type Bob because it's going to remember. It's going to remember that I had used Bob last. And if I want to do it again, pop new main window, main window. And if I do pop draw, it will once again be main min window. Um, the way I add these in, uh, eventually I'll change the way I use it, but for now, you it has a class. It has a class called Instanote Clipboard Mod, and basically I just create a function for it and tell it how you basically write it like it's a normal function and it executes your code. So let's say if I want to do this one here, Insta Note padding. So if I start typing out Insta Note, I should be able to find a Insta Note padding in here, unless I didn't add it. I might have forgot to add that one. It looks like I forgot to add that one. So let's go maybe Insta Note route. roundness and I can change the roundness for these insta notes so let's say 12 actually it doesn't work quite it's it's not straightforward on how the roundness works but whatever so this is with uh, whatever I I think I said it to the exact thing that it was damn insta Note roundness, let's go with three. And now I can see that I have a different roundness for it, or I can do Insta Note font color um, 0x FF 3399 FF, so like an aqua color. Now I've changed the color of the text. Um, so that's how that works. Or an example like, oh, there's so many, there's so many things that you can do with this thing. Let me try to see if I can find a good one. Uh, here, let's go with this. So let's say I'm writing code and I wanna put a separator between some lines of code. I can do that, and that'll paste that in. Um, or a uh, thing that I often use it for is, let's see, my mate, the thing that I use it for the most is honestly this. I hate typing out the percent mark quotes, blah, blah, blah. I hate doing this, setting up a tooltip, so I have it just type in tip, 
and it sets it up. If I want to take the contents of my clipboard, so let's say I have this and I want to display this in a tool tip, I can do clip tip and that will put that into a, clip, a tip tool tip. Um, there's, I have a whole bunch of things. I can do like run, uh, let me see, run mini. I can run programs with it. Probably have run calc. Nope, that's a fail. So there's no calculator added, but if I wanted to, I could add calculator or whatever I want. <clears throat> the last thing that I added recently is this here where I can now change the font type, the font size, the font color, the font background color, the transparency of the window. Um, if I, uh, the background and the trim color, I can make them clear. So if I just want text on my screen without the background, I can do that. I can zoom in, move that wherever I want. I can draw an arrow to it. Draw another arrow to it, change the color of the arrow, change the pr properties of the arrow, change its size, et cetera, et cetera. I think, and that's pretty much it. Um, I think that covers everything for this. I, this video has been long enough, but yeah, so like I said, I have, this is a, my experimental version of this one here, and I'll make sure to leave a link to that. So that's number two.